hey guys welcome back once again in this video i will show you how to handle multiple environment in react js well as you know the application what you are building it have to go through multiple environment means the first environment will be the development second let's say once our development is done we will move to the qa so basically tester will do the testing and after that there will, could be the other environment like a staging so they are again testing can happen and after that we can move to production it means we have to handle some of the things based on our environment let's say in order to get data on your ui you are using api and those api is getting from backend so basically when you are changing your environment of front end app the similarly the backend have to do the same okay it means when our project is in development we have to hit the development api and it will have a different api it will have a different database so once we are moving react app to qa environment the api have to do the same it means i have to hit their qa api not development api anymore okay so whenever we are in production means our project is live so we will have a production api okay so here in this case we have to hit production api not a development or qa so now you might have one doubt that why we are having a different environment right the main reason behind this different environment is whenever you are in development you can do lot of manipulation of data and you can play with that in qa they have a different set of data they will have a bulk of data there so once you are moving from one environment to other environment you are basically checking and making sure that your application have everything good whenever we are moving from one environment to other definitely there are something which will get changed so for example let's say api url so the url what you were trying to hit for the development they have a different base url means it contains development and for qa they have something qa on the place of development okay so now if we go to production we don't have this qa or development direct we will have our url let's say http dot api dot and your domain so let me give you another one example logger so if your project in production you need a logger in production basically whatever user is doing you will keep track of everything you will be logging each and every step means if something went wrong so where and what was the reason so you will be logging each and everything which is not required in development and staging or testing okay so basically what you can do by using environment variable you can create a environment variable based on your different environment and you can specify a different value to them so whenever your application goes to that particular environment it will pick those value and it will process it so in the case of this logger we have to log steps only in production so we can keep a variable and we can define that logger to true in production and in other environment we can put variable value as a false okay so now let's jump to vs code and handle multiple environment as you can see this is a simple react application which i have already created and here i am in app component and this is the boilerplate code so now i will remove and i will provide one heading so here handle react app okay so now here as you can see i am getting this heading okay now in order to handle environment stuff in react app we need to install a package called env cmd so here let me open an env cmd okay so let's go to this npm package so here we have to do npm install env cmd so right now here i will open a new terminal and i will use yarn so yarn 
एट ई एन वी सी एम डी ओके सो इट विल गेट इंस्टॉल्ड सो नाउ हियर एज यू कैन सी वी हैव टू मॉडिफाई आवर पैकेट डॉट जे एसन एंड बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू क्रिएट इन्वायरमेंट वेरिएबल सो फॉर दैट हियर लेट्स कम बैक एंड हियर एट प्रोजेक्ट लेवल वी विल क्रिएट ए डिफरेंट वेरिएबल सो हियर फर्स्ट फाइल डॉट ई एन वी ओके नाउ लेट मी क्रिएट सेकेंड फाइल सो ई एन वी डॉट क्यू ए दिस फाइल इज फॉर टेस्टिंग पर्पज एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज ई एन वी डॉट लेट्स कॉल डिट एच प्रोडक्शन ओके नाउ हियर लेट्स कम बैक टू ई एन वी इन दिस इन्वायरमेंट वेरिएबल वी हैव टू मेन्सन ऑल द वेरिएबल्स which is not going to change based on the environment for example react application name so here we can create a variable so react app and here we can call it as name and here we have to provide our react application name okay so here i will write simple react app okay so now let's come to here qa environment so basically here i have to define all the variable what is applicable for qa environment only so here let's define api url so for that react app api url okay and right now here we have to provide our url so let's call it as https and www dot api simple react app dot and here qa dot com okay so this is the base url here now i need to add another one variable so for that here i will write here react app environment so this is a qa environment so here qa okay so now let's copy this whole thing come to production and paste it here here i need to change the value q will remain same so here i can write production okay and here i don't need to refer to q way so i will remove it okay so now here what we have done is in environment we have added all the default value which will be applicable for all the environment so here we have defined environment and api url now coming to here we have defined this product something okay so now let's come to packet.json and here we need to modify something as you know very well whenever we will try to start any application basically this command is going to trigger okay so here what we will do is we will modify this line so i will comment this line and here i will add a same kind of line so here a start colon qa okay which means testing and here i need to refer my variable so first of all let's copy the same stuff from here and paste it and separate by comma and right now here before this i can define the environment variable so here i have to write env minus cmd and right now i need to pass a flag to refresh fast so i will pass hyphen f so here i have to write dot env dot qa okay and here as you can see i have missed this dot so i will rename this so dot development and here dot qa okay so now here we added one let me replicate it so second one and here i will write prod and here production okay now let's remove this and here instead of calling a start right now i have to call via qa or prod and right now here i have to provide yarn a start colon qa so here as you can see i wrote this a start colon qa 
so once i will click this basically a script will get triggered and it will set environment variable as a environment qa so now let me hit and here as you can see you might have noticed this script was executing okay so now here let's come back and here you can see any changes okay so right now here let's come to app.js so now here let's do console log to process so process dot env okay and come back here we can't find anything so do right click go to inspect and come to console so here as you can see we got something called object and here we have few options so fast refresh true not environment this is the development public url we don't have and here as you can see the property what we wrote react app api url and here as you can see it's qa and here react app environment is qa and this is the default value what we provided in dot env dot env file okay so right now we have to get the name so here i will write dot react app name okay so here as you can see i am getting this simple react app so now let's cut it and paste it here in h3 tag okay and here right now i will define the environment as well so let's call it as h3 and env comma here i need to write in curly bracket so curly bracket and here the same so process dot env dot react app here env okay so now let's get back and here as you can see simple react app and environment is qa okay so now let me come back here let me stop it so here control c and here instead of this qa i have to provide production so for production we have given command as a prod and hit enter and here as you can see right now i got this value as a production okay so i didn't do anything and everything has been changed and if you can see the api url it will also get changed so let me do console log to that so process dot environment dot here url so here as you can see i got this www dot api dot simple react app dot com okay so this is what we have mentioned in our production environment okay so now you have a understanding how to deal with the multiple environment so basically here i have defined only two property but there will be a lot of property basically so let's say you are handling uh, different token or client id and password so those credential you can mention here and the information what you are providing here it's completely secure okay so you don't have to worry about the security because you are not hard coding which will be visible to others okay okay guys so in this video we have seen how to set up our react app based on different environment that's it for this video you can find download link of this code in description of this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section and if you like this video please do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching